she works and she has a boyfriend. This one is, how are you? And she says, are you, is that a rhetorical question? When I was in kindergarten, I was friendly with a little girl named Alice. I mean, we were both, you know, in the same kindergarten class. Um, you have to stay six feet away from me, Steve, and that's not what you told me last night. She took me home one time, and her parents had the Dr. Seuss books for her. And I love those books. That's about when they were telling us to stay six feet away from each other. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> that's why that name stuck with me. That's when I really began to realize that I really love art. She has a lot of anxiety. She also talks to her mirror a lot. <laughs> and the mirror is, is like kind of a reflection of her, but the mirror always kind of talks back to her. It's kind of a little bit hard on her. <laughs> I just had this framed um, just to show what the original Alice looked like. So not that different from the newer ones. And then we have the birds. When I went to architecture school, I used to doodle cartoons all the time. And I'm gonna move her arm. And I used to make my girlfriend laugh, so we would be giggling in structures class. And I, while I'd be drawing the cartoons, I shouldn't admit this, but that's what we, we would be doing. I joined the publication committee of the, the Philadelphia chapter of the American Institute of Architects, and I asked them if I could develop a cartoon strip. I called her Alice, and uh, the strip was basically about architecture and uh, urban planning issues. But I used to try to get personal things about her in the strip whenever I could sneak, sneak them in. She's worried about aging, she's worried about her work, and she has animals, she's single, and she's just trying to discover herself. And I did dive into politics during the pandemic. There was a lot of issues going on. So I have a pandemic series. She says, my mask ruins my lipstick. And he says, I have the same problem. You do have to be able to take complex things and simplify it. That's the beauty of being a cartoonist. They're able to clear out all the noise and focus on that one issue. Things that you deal with when you're trying to get actually unemployment insurance and just trying to get through the bureaucracy. Alice is just like walking <laughs> alongside of us. We just don't yes. know. She's dealing with the same thing yeah, we're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, she is. She is an everyday person, you know, yes, absolutely. And she's just, you know, just trying to survive really in the, in, in the world.